Hey, Mark Meldrum, Meldrum's Monster Garage, and today we find ourselves with a problem of the blinkers do not cancel out when you return the steering wheel to the center position. So what the issue is, uh, I've pulled this all apart and uh, it's going to have to come out. This is, this is a bearing, okay, in here, and then this is a switch, and as you can see, this piece is broken and this piece is broken. Now I'll show you the correct one in a second. Just hang on. Um, but to get this one out, the wire runs under the column here. Now I could take, you know, obviously this big connector is not gonna fit through here. So I could um, take each individual piece out and fish it through there or since I'm not going to use this one anymore, it's definitely broken and it's all riveted together. There's like, there's like no way to repair these things. Um, what's going to happen is I'm going to cut this off and then I'm going to fish it out through. Now, what I wanted to get to is there's two styles of uh, bearing slash uh, connectors. Now this one, this unit that Bobby gave me with the car is all plastic. Okay. That's one style. Unfortunately, they're not interchangeable. So this will not work. So I ordered up the uh, correct one, which is uh, basically metal on the bottom and then plastic on the top. And just to compare the two, so you can see the tabs that are broken off on the other one. So we'll get a new bearing in there. That, that'll that be uh, nice. I think uh, I, I was feeling that bearing. It didn't feel all that great. And we'll get an all new piece. Now, to get this wire down there, you know, it has this connector on there too. So we are on this new connector, we're gonna have to take out the uh, uh, old ones because, you know, I don't have a rivet machine to rivet those kind of rivets back on there, these ones here. So. Uh, we'll take these uh, connectors out and uh, shouldn't be too hard. I've got some tools to do that and then we'll uh, show you what's going on. But uh, lots of other pieces. Yeah, what a mess down there to get the uh, steering wheel off and whatnot. But uh, all that's taken care of. I'll show you how that goes back on. All right, so there's the tool inside there and you got to push it down far enough to release the barb and then you're going to you're gonna pull on the wire to pull it out. All right? All right, so we got this all apart uh, now. So now we'll be able to slide the wires down. And of course, yeah, look at the, look at the fingers. These little, these little suckers are sharp and they're gonna bite you. Yeah, I got it on the thumb and I got it on the finger. So be careful. You might wanna wear some protective gear on your fingers. But uh, we're gonna slide the wire right down this uh, piece. You know, this, this kind of comes, uh, I think that this will be a nice guide for the, uh, sorry, didn't want to slide down there, but uh, this will be a nice uh, guide for the wires to follow. So there we go. All right, we're coming down the home stretch here. And uh, as you can see, lots of parts, lots of tools sitting down there, but uh, we've got the blinker uh, assembly in. All right, so we got the connector uh, ran down there. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'll give it a shot. All right, hopefully you can see that. And then we're gonna come back up the uh, steering column. You see the guard in place there. And we got everything connected up. Okay, so let's, before we get any more parts in here, let's uh, check it out. So, blinker, there we go. I know it's hard to see right now, but it is blinking. And there we go, blinky. Okay, so let's continue on and put the rest of the parts together here. I gotta start out with this uh, canceling cam as soon as I can find it, hang on. All right, here's the canceling cam and you can see that it, it's gonna knock when it spins around here, it's gonna hit this piece and this piece to cancel out. So you wanna make sure uh, when you initially put this in, it's in between there. And you're, I'm assuming your steering wheel straight up and your connector here is uh, pushing 
up on the ring around here, okay, or the horn relay, horn button, and then you're gonna put the spring in there. Whoop! See, everything's hooked back up. So, put the spring back in there, get that to center, there we go. I flipped it around, it fit better. And uh, basically gonna put that uh, back together with the steering wheel next. I, I got need two hands for that, so All hang right. on. Now, <laughs> of course I never can remember how this goes, but I think I got it right here. Of course, you're gonna line these up with the screw holes here, one, two, three. And then here's a, a little bevel here, and it will go into the tabs, one, two, three, around there. There we go. So that's fitting, that's fitting nice, okay? And then we're gonna put the horn mechanism over top of that, okay? And then we're gonna put uh, this piece, very delicate, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use two hands and put this in there. All right, like I said, very, very delicate here. So we're gonna tighten these up, got all three screws in there, and that'll center everything up, okay? And I gotta find my screwdriver, and then we'll get that tightened up. All right, so don't put a lot of torque on this, just enough to snug it. And then uh, I, got, I disconnected the battery because it was like playing operation. Every time you hit just a certain point, it would make the horn beep. So, um, but uh, so it feels good. Feels like it should work. Pushing around here and uh, we'll continue to put things together.